really like this question. So, hey, you want to stick around for this episode if you want to get a very interesting question, which is simply, should I take on a project which is not profitable for me, but very credible, or a project which is very profitable, but on the dubious side? Interesting dilemma. Stay tuned. All right, so, hey, this is interesting to me. So the question is, should you take on a project that doesn't pay a lot of money, but is very credible to do, versus taking on a project that is um, going to be extremely profitable and dubious? So first of all, that's all I have. There's more, certainly more context needed. Like, are you at the stage where you actually do need money, right? If you need money and it would make sense, you know, that helps make decisions versus if you're at the stage of your life where you don't need a lot of money, you make decisions to do some things which are charitable or other things. Next question. Is it possible, given the project, to do the project which is absolutely really credible but actually doesn't pay a lot of money? Is it possible to do it in such a way where you can make that more profitable for you? And there are many different ways. I mean, just because somebody gave a project in a certain way doesn't mean you can't change the rules if you ask up front. Or on the project that is very profitable but dubious, is there an opportunity to change the rules? Can you do it and change the rules in such a way where it becomes credible, right? So actually, I think what's gonna happen when I'm done, I don't think I'm gonna give any answers to the questions, but I'm just gonna go and waffle on a couple of these things back and forth. First of all, internally, if there's something that you're being asked to do and it's dubious, I'm gonna say, and dubious is a very relative term, so it depends. If you're doing something that it obviously is against the law, you can't do it. If you're doing something that's against your re, your religious, moral, or ethical violations of what you are, you really shouldn't do it because it's gonna eat at you. If you're being asked to do something that you know is wrong, but everyone else does it, well, I don't wanna, unequivocally say don't do it although i would generally say lean in the direction of doing what's right and i'm wondering is there an opportunity to educate those that are actually giving the project is there an opportunity to show that there's a different way to do things that would allow you to still do something that would be profitable for you but doing it in such a way where, once again, you get to turn that project into something that's more credible. If it really violates, you know, once again, saying it's dubious, there, there are 10 components of, of, of dubious. So there are different gradations of that. And so I don't think it's an even scale right? Unless I know what the, what actually the project is that's credible versus the project that dubious, it's hard to tell, you know, the numbers and the scale and, and, and how to do that. So, so I would on the credible side, um, or on the project that's profitable, see what you do in making it credible on the project that, that really is credible, um, but not very profitable. I'm still thinking, what are things you could do there? Um, if it's something that doesn't take, I mean, if, if once again, it's possible that you can do both and maybe uh, if you could do both and turn the more non-credible uh, but profitable project into something that's a little more credible, then you may not care as much about the other project, which doesn't actually pay as much money, but is quite credible. So that's a really interesting question. And I think it's like anything else in life, you write down uh, the pluses and minuses of both opportunities. But I think what happens in life is we're often told this is the rule book. And somebody gives us the rules and we apply by those rules. Now, in some cases or many cases, it makes sense. Let's talk about driving a car. 
You know, in most countries, when you're actually driving the car, when the light is green, you go through. When the light is yellow, you slow down because at some point in time, the light will turn red and you need to stop. Uh, there are some countries where the rules are slightly different, but in general, those are rules and those are rules to be followed. Because when you break the rules, there are consequences. Not just getting a ticket, but potentially causing uh, an opportunity for a collision, which is bad. On the other hand, there are rules which are set where the person on the other side, once again, just may not know better. And so stepping back and asking the bigger question, and that is, what is the, here's the project, here's what you're asking, here's what you're paying, what is the expected outcome? What do you want to get out of this project? Now, if the tasks that are used to deliver the project really are dubious enough in such a way that you don't feel comfortable delivering, then the question comes, can you deliver that same outcome, but take a different path? Because if you could then say, okay, hey, listen, given that this is what you want, I can get to that same outcome, and it's either gonna take me a little bit more time or a little bit less time, and why don't you adjust the pay accordingly, but if we took this other path, A, you'd make you feel more comfortable because it's not as dubious or not dubious at all, and also delivers the outcome. As long as you deal with us up front, you know, there are very few managers that wouldn't want to interact with somebody who can talk that way, who can interact that way, who can actually deliver the outcome we want and doing it in such a way that's much more comfortable with your conscious. So you're educating, changing, and delivering the same results or similar results. So anyway, that's, that's sort of my, my pluses and minuses of that. Um, hopefully this adds enough value for you to think that through and then make the right decision. To summarize this session, it really is an opportunity for you to actually evaluate. Uh, there are actually inputs and outputs. Um, for those that don't know, in the Credibility Nation uh, website, there's a course on the input-output diagram. There are really inputs and outputs into the black box in the middle you're being directed to actually do something that's dubious, there's an opportunity to actually talk to the person who's assigned the job and maybe rewrite the rules to figure out that how you can accomplish what needs to get done, but doing it in a way that you're comfortable. Anyhow, you got to look at the pluses and minuses and how it makes you feel and whether or not it is the right thing to do. And of course, in relation to how you sit in life, and once again, I'm going to say uh, good luck uh, making that decision, doing the right thing. Thanks. Take care. Bye now.